famous musician had over 250 unreleased tracks just sitting in a storage locker going up for auction. What sparked a custody battle when it was found inside a barbecue smoker? These are 10 of the weirdest things ever found in a storage unit. I'm Danger Dolan and today I will be your narrator. Number 10. In 2011 a guy thought he had hit the jackpot when a storage container revealed a pristine copy of Action Comics number 1. This is the first appearance of Superman. There are only about a hundred known copies in existence, almost none in good condition. And let me guess, it was a fake. But it turns out that copy was the same as one that had been stolen from Nicolas Cage 11 years earlier. What the heck? And also, why is Nicolas Cage grabbing a choir girl's ass? <laughs> and just that face, I'm sorry. I'm giggling a bit. I mean, th that face he just gave—that's <laughs> that's that's a awkward O face if I ever saw one. Cage got the comic back, but then put it up for auction himself, where it sold for more than 2.1 million bucks. Yeah, I forgot Nicolas Cage was almost cast as Superman. Hmm, that would have been weird. Number nine. A Long Island man bought his storage unit for a hundred bucks and with that stumbled upon an iconic James Bond car. The submarine car from The Spy Who Loved Me was just sitting in there and the man didn't even know what he had. That is awesome. The only reason I know about this James Bond movie is because I think my grandma or one of my parents or my uncle, I don't know who, but someone in my family watched it when I was a kid. That's the only reason I remember this car until a stranger told him about it when it was in the back of his truck. Tesla founder Elon Musk ended up buying the car from him for just a hair under a million dollars. Not a bad haul for a hundred buck unit storage. Number 8. A barbecue smoker isn't a bad thing to find in an abandoned storage unit. A barbecue smoker with an entire human leg inside is a little bit of a different story. Oddly enough, this wasn't the result of a grisly murder plot. Why have I heard about this before? I remember there was one case where a guy had his leg left in a storage unit because he wanted to be buried with it. Is this the same story? The severed leg had an owner, the man it was severed from. He asked doctors to let him keep the leg after he had it amputated so that he could be buried whole when he died. But in the meantime, he was keeping it in a barbecue smoker and charging people to take a peek at it. After the smoker was purchased at auction, a custody battle ensued, as the man wanted to reclaim his lost body part. Number 7. Ronald Dennis had a good idea. Storage units often have valuable stuff, they're secured with cheap locks and there's barely any security. It's a perfect target for robbery. Good as his idea was, the execution was somewhat lacking. After all, the getaway is an important part of the heist. While robbing the unit, a passing security guard saw the unit open and shut and locked it, unaware that Dennis was inside. Unfortunately, in that case, I don't think Elon Musk is going to come by and bail you out for a million bucks. Not unless you, you know, you manage to steal some James Bond memorabilia in that small amount of time. Number 6. Howard Mann bought a warehouse full of Michael Jackson memorabilia, which was apparently owned by the Jackson family. He found a lot of stuff he expected, but he wasn't expecting to find new music. As it turns out, the unit contained the master recordings for 273 unreleased Michael Jackson songs. I'd honestly like to hear those songs, I'm just saying. Some of them were Michael himself, some were duets with another artist like Tina Turner, and some included other members of his family. 
but none of them had ever been released to the public. Number 5. Full disclosure, these things were found by the stars of a storage unit reality show. So while it seems to be on the level, don't be surprised to hear they were planted by the producers beforehand. Still, these guys found a rocket and countdown timer from NASA in a random storage locker in South Florida. They were old historical pieces that had long been decommissioned, and obviously it wasn't a full-sized rocket, but it was still official NASA gear. NASA didn't even ask for it back. Number 4. Medical examiners have to be a certain kind of person to cut dead human bodies open on a regular basis and handle the gooey body parts, but they're not supposed to enjoy it to the point of collecting them. But Michael Birkeland did just that, storing brains, hearts, lungs, and other bits of human- Yeah, I remember- I really remember this guy. This guy got arrested for this, I think. <laughs> ...tissue and jars of formaldehyde, or plastic containers, or trash bags, or a styrofoam cup. The one thing that bothered me was the heart in the styrofoam cup. Out of all the places you could have stuck a human heart, why a styrofoam cup? Was he planning on turning it into a protein shake later? Yeah. And then apparently he just forgot about that and stopped paying the bill on the storage unit so some other guy could pay 900 bucks for his storage unit of horrors. Some people collect video games, some people collect bits of dead people, woo! <laughs> Number three. There's a strong correlation between people who rent storage units and people with a hoarding problem. And one guy couldn't bear to get rid of any of his stuff, including his dead grandma. So we left the corpse in the storage unit, just, you know, just kept it there for 17 years. You have to be a special type of asshole to keep your grandmother in a storage unit for seven years. You, you were too lazy to pay for the funeral? <laughs> if I was your grandparent, I would come back from the dead just to slap the living bejesus out of you. What the hell? When she died in 1994, the family couldn't afford the funeral, so they just kept her in storage until they could. Is that even legal? Which was apparently never. I don't know what it is with people and collecting dead things, but <laughs> stop. Number two. You know what Burt Reynolds really loves? He loves Burt Reynolds. That's why he owned a storage unit full of stuff about him. There's framed photos of him, movie props from his films, letters from fans and co-stars, and anything else you could think of. In fact, the people who bought the unit got so much Burt Reynolds stuff, they opened a Burt Reynolds museum. The museum quickly went out of business and was bulldozed to make room for an incoming shopping mall. Unfortunately, Burt Reynolds didn't come by and, uh, you know, pay for his stuff back. Number one. People who rummage around in old storage units or hit up garage sales often say they're treasure hunting. But it's not like they find actual treasure, just some cool old stuff that someone might buy for too much in an auction. Except for this one guy in Santa Jose, California. His storage unit had actual pirate treasure in it. Well, all I have to say is storage units of the Caribbean. The man paid 1100 bucks for the unit, which contained over 500,000 in gold and silver bars and real doubloons dating back to before the 19th century. So guys, what's the weirdest thing you've ever heard dug out of storage? Let us know in the comment section down below, pin our favourite to the top. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one! Hey, that was interesting and downright freaking weird. I mean, I'm just saying, the weird things you find in storage units, the corny things, and the creepy. I mean, the things people leave in storage, I mean, and I, and I actually watched storage hunters one time, so I know a couple weird things that have been found. But I'm just saying, that was just plain weird. But I'm just saying, it does show the weird things you can find in storage units sometimes worth something and sometimes just morbid. But besides that, I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. This was awesome for me. I enjoyed this video. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you all have a nice day. Hope you all take care. And still, stay glassy.